do you guys think the government really care <clears throat> about the owners of these exchanges? Do you guys really believe that with these exchanges that have been popping up, that the government is going to care about people using these exchanges? The government doesn't give a damn about you. The government does not even give a damn about the exchange owners. They've been wanting to get the owners because why you have to think about it. Most of these people who are owners of these exchanges were wealthy off of Bitcoin, off of digital assets. Think about it. So right now they're making it harder. They're attacking all these billionaires who had created these exchanges to show them that they have power. That's the only thing. And they're using this as bit them owner arrested in South Korea for allegedly stealing 50 million. Why would he need to steal 50 million when they're already a billionaire? Does that make sense, family? I really don't believe that makes sense. Why would he want to steal $50 million when he's a billionaire? Chinese economists urges government to reconsider crypto ban, warns of missed tech opportunities. As, as much stuff that's going on around the world, as much depression, recession, and interest rates that are spiking up right now, Digital assets is the way to have generational wealth. It's not about, <clears throat> oh, um, I'm going to wait to buy low, wait to do this. No, accumulate what you can. You're going to have losses. You're going to have gains. But at the end of the day, if you're holding your digital assets, you don't have to worry about anything. And that's what I'll be trying to tell you guys. The government is so, like, they want these big billionaires who are investing in digital assets. Oh, they're trying to support this scam token or they're trying to support this. Man, listen, Kim Kardashian been buying a whole bunch of uh, cryptocurrencies. You guys can say that, oh, well, she used this money. <clears throat> well, they gave her money to buy this. No, Kim Kardashian ain't stupid. She may look stupid, but she's not stupid. Okay? More like even Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather doesn't just want to buy stuff just to buy stuff if you gotta understand this man likes to invest so this man been investing in nfts and all digital assets that's what they have been doing a former advisor to the chinese central bank the bank's people bank of china has called on the chinese government to reevaluate its cryptocurrency ban the south china morning post reported monday served as a Member of the Monetary Policy Committee at the People's Bank of China between 2015 and 2018. He is currently a professor of finance and economics at Peking University National School of Development. So he already know what's going on with digital assets. They're saying that, oh, crypto is what illegal or people doing this to uh, money wash them, uh, you know, money launder their money. But <clears throat> family, it's not even about that. It's about people becoming wealthy and the government is manipulating the crypto market prices. They're trying to suppress it as down as they can. Listen, digital assets are supposed to have been spike. They're supposed to have been spiking. They're supposed to have been pushing. So the government is buying a whole shit ton of crypto cryptocurrencies and selling and pumping. So it's not like how the Wall Street market is, right? They buy in and sell, buy in and hold and do all this other stuff. This is what the government doing. Listen, all these digital assets are supposed to bend skyrocket. They're suppressing the prices down. And they're making more people to have more fear in digital assets to not buy in. That's what's going on. <laughs> Family, I hope you guys see this. You know, Bitcoin, not Bitcoin, Dogal on Mars is at 36.56, uh, up by 2%. Bitcoin is that 23 grand ethereum at 1600 and as again you guys know xrp xrp is at 41 cents so family i want you guys to really you know let this marinate the government doesn't want these people to become wealthy and have generational wealth off of digital assets and if you're hustling and if you're doing what you're doing right now keep on doing it because your time is going to be near where you don't may not have to work. You may be the owner, not the CEO, the owner of many companies. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're able to take these trips. I'm going to be honest with you. I seen Ocho Cinco. He was talking about he saves 83% of his income. 83% of his income. So just because you are, are wealthy and multimillionaire, billionaire, hey, family, still play it safe. 
still play it safe because the inflation is still rising. And at the end of the day, I want to be wealthy, not broke. I don't want to look wealthy. I want to be wealthy. Peace out, family.